According to IBM, artificial intelligence, or AI, is technology that enables computers and machines to simulate human intelligence and problem-solving capabilities. By itself or in combination with other technologies, AI can complete tasks by modeling its algorithm after the decision-making process of the human brain. AI can actually learn from the data that is available for its usage and over time produce more accurate results or predictions. Furthermore, there are a variety of uses for AI, such as speech recognition, customer service, autonomous vehicles, generative AI tools, and even weather forecasting. AI has been around since the 1950s, but has seemingly been progressing at a faster pace than ever seen before. According to Virginia Tech engineer, a recent survey by Forbes indicated that many Americans still trust humans over AI by a large percentage. Those surveyed expressed how humans would still do a more efficient job of administering medicine, writing laws, and even choosing gifts, just to name a few examples. According to the Pew Research Center, 52% of Americans are more concerned than excited about AI in daily life, and there are multiple issues with AI that need to be taken into consideration. The big question people are pondering in today's society is if AI is impacting our world negatively. To start off, AI creates potential biases from incomplete data and also can produce disinformation because of this. AI raises major ethical concerns through the usage of algorithms. AI and learning algorithms infer the data they are given, and if the designers do not provide representative data, the resulting AI systems become biased and unfair. According to Box, learning algorithms and facial recognition are some of the causes of biasness and unfairness. AI can be statistically biased or wrong, or literally biased in regards to being prejudiced against a certain group or characteristic. With lending algorithms, AI judges its applicants based on the facts given. This causes disparity because the facts are taken into account from historical and policy inequities. The algorithm therefore does nothing to take these disparities into account. To add on, facial recognition systems are usually biased as well. Most models are only excellent at identifying white male faces because AI has been more commonly trained on them. A second concern in regards to the usage of AI is its effect on the workforce. In the article, AI, the Good, the Bad, and the Scary, Ali Soje states that with increased automation, people are nervous about job displacement. According to the Pew Research Center, 19% of American workers are in jobs that are exposed them to AI. And to add on, 62% of Americans believe AI will have a major impact on workers generally. In regards to the healthcare system, 6 in 10 Americans say they would feel uncomfortable with their healthcare provider relying on AI to help care for them. One broadly communicated concern of Americans is that AI will make patients' personal relationships with their providers worse. 75% of Americans think healthcare providers will move too fast using AI before fully understanding the impact and potential risks of using it. With respect to the driving industry, 83% of Americans think driverless cars would lead to job loss for rideshare and delivery drivers. To add on, 76% think it's likely that the computer systems in driverless cars could easily be hacked and pose a safety risk to users. Lastly, the thoughtless use of AI and machine learning could cause an increase in dependency on technology, which could lead to the reduction of critical thinking, potential loss of human connection, and ultimately being overthrown by AI itself. 67% of Americans who are familiar with chat boxes like ChatGDP say they are more concerned that the government will not go far enough in regulating their use. Furthermore, as we begin to converse more often with AI, the authenticity of our own human interactions is questioned. There is a major concern about the potential loss of the human element due to the advancement of AI, especially in the workforce and healthcare system. On top of all of this, if AI is able to create a superintelligence, it is possible that superintelligence could decide that humans are insignificant, and this is a threat to humanity if its capabilities exceed our own. Because of the occurring issues, a call to action is necessary in order to prevent these negative impacts from affecting our society. In regards to the ethical impacts on biasness, bills have begun to be established to reduce discrimination. According to the Council of the District in Columbia, the Discrimination by Algorithms Act of 2023 has been produced to prevent the use of algorithms that cause discrimination when making decisions that impact people's lives significantly. The bill itself focuses on usage of personal information and determining qualification for services, opportunities, and information. All organizations should also ensure that privacy is embedded in the usage of AI, and if the CEOs of organizations see that AI is generating bias, they must physically reject the res these results and further evaluate the AI tools they are using to understand why these results are invalid. On the subject of the workforce, leaders of the work environment should encourage people to embrace experimentation with technology and communicate with workers on opportunities that can be created through the use of AI. 
AI can inform these leaders with data, suggestions, and recommendations, but it is on their shoulders how to frame these issues and make good calls on the usage of AI in the workplace. According to Virginia Tech engineer, it is believed AI should be used as an assistant to workers, not a replacement. Even though AI may threaten some jobs, it should also help create new ones as well. Lastly, in order to prevent the overuse of AI and the potential loss of human connection, a multitude of steps and regulations should be set in place. According to Jamie Collican, a CEO and advocate for empowering change through use of AI, schools should develop digital literacy curriculum. Schools should teach students to use AI responsibly, and an AI digital literacy cu curriculum can cover these topics like understanding AI, its potential and limitations, and its ethical impacts on society. In regards to education, monitoring tools should be put in place to understand how and when students are using AI. This data can then be ana analyzed to help schools understand patterns, establish potential issues, and develop policies on the usage of AI. Furthermore, according to the Virginia Tech engineer, to avoid the potential loss of human connection, we need to create and promote the culture of AI for good. Edston Prestis, a professor and director of robotics at the Federal University of Rio Grande de Sul, stated that humans should seriously think about themselves and others. If the technology will be more useful for us and others, if, and if it will cause any harm. Humans cannot develop solutions without considering people in the ecosystem as a central component of development. In regards to my own usage of AI, I can minimize the negative impacts of it in my own life by reducing or eliminating the usage of chat GTP and AI tools, as well as educate and spread awareness to my friends and family on the uses of AI in a positive light. All in all, there is a good side and a bad side in regards to AI. It is up to us whether to promote one side or the other, and it's also on humanity's shoulders how we resolve the issues with the usage of technology. AI is capable of negatively impacting our society, but through the use of positive implications, we can minimize these